The nursery at YCT helps supply the plant seedlings needed for forest rehabilitation. The replanting of native tree species is especially encouraged. Several horticultural technicians care for these tender shoots in the project's nursery. They also assist with educational outreach work in the wider community. We advise them and we also show them how to do it. And at one point when where training is needed, we bring them here at the Golden Stream Center. We provide training, maybe with sowing of seeds or transplanting and some technical thing that we can do in the class. And also we go out into the field to do some demonstration, especially in nursery construction and management, like maybe pest control and disease control. We also do that in the communities now. One of the Yakshe Trust's core programs is organic cacao farming. The nursery supplies carefully grown cacao seedlings to local farmers. Really the cacao field we have is, uh, is we want to have it like a model, so that when we bring in farmers we show them how to keep the shade and also the cacao spacing and different plants we want to incorporate with cacao. We can take them there and show them exactly what kind of cacao field we are looking at. Organic cacao is now a successful and important export crop for southern Belize. Local farmers have achieved remarkable success through a partnering with the Worldwide Fair Trade Network and they have won the endorsement of Green and Black's international buyers. We are telling our farmers that growing cacao is also sustainable if you do it the right way and it's also environmentally safe um, rather than planting citrus, rice on a large scale, you do a lot of clear cutting but when growing cacao you have high canopy shade, you can be planting your mahogany, you can be having your kuhun trees, your mamia apple, where gib nuts, toucan, other wild animals can live among naturally. The so local market for organic cacao is predicted to grow even larger in the near future. So that one is full as well. A new cacao field is described to farmers as being like a new family bank account. It will eventually yield handsome interest, but the capital involved takes a while to build up. Pues, he must, pues, he trying to cool. Ya bili kya ki puka biki na do pues talin to cool must ka must 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 inch idesi kakoi poko ibel em takin na takin mendig don kaheni must inch yes. Controlling weed growth is also important. Using a machete every three months to clear the new growth of brush is encouraged. Pruning demonstrations are provided to ensure that the young cacao trees will eventually produce a maximum yield. <laughs>